education and goal setting, simply because I think it's really relevant to all of us as students. I don't know if you guys know this, but actually 50% of college students graduate within six years. And this could actually really set, make a lot of individuals or students unmotivated, eventually drop out. There was um, one of the studies and articles that I actually read, most people in the other percentages either graduate within their four year plan, which is very minimal, or if not, they actually go over the six years. So. Most of the time, us as students, we come into college or university, we think, okay, we're gonna get this done in four years, but half the time, or in other occasions, we might get a little lost and motivated, so my goal for everybody here is to hopefully teach you some techniques, the problems as to why this happens, and the causes and solutions in order to keep you guys a little updated or motivated. And um, this is very relevant to me because I myself have been a crisis counselor for about a year and a half. I've done a lot of research in regards to motivation and I help assist people that are unmotivated or need help trying to put things together in their lives. So now, yeah, so first, one of my first main points is actually why this happens and why this is a problem. Most of the time as students and just in general, people can be unmotivated because they have low self-esteem. And this can, Self-esteem can mean a lot of different things, but for the most part, it means to embrace yourself and your flaws and everything that is possible. So, and um, that means that in order to be motivated, you really have to change your appraisal the way you look at things. So just take in the good things about you and try to think about things positively. And my second concern for that in regards to um, the problem with self-esteem is being a destructive thinker. Do not think about the negative things, thinking that you can't do this, that you can't you know, do things in life. Don't put limitations on yourself. And now the causes of, the, the causes of, um, of this can be, like I said, self-esteem and disposition. So now, and the other cause as to why people can become unmotivated is having really bad or not setting appropriate goal settings. Sometimes people or students or I myself have set goals that are too easy, which makes you not be motivated because you already know you could do it. Or in other occasions, you could have goals that are extremely difficult, which makes you consequently feel defeated and you know just not makes you want to quit and not continue. So the key is to have goals that are easy enough to complete, but also challenging enough for you, for once you reach that top, you realize that you know you actually did it. You feel proud and more successful, and have more self-esteem, and that could eventually um, give you more direction, or give you, or want you to do more things that are more challenging in life. So now that we know that self-esteem and inappropriate goal setting is could be a problem and a cause for lack of motivation, I'm going to show you some applications in order to manipulate yourself or others or whoever you may need assistance with to do things that you want to do in life. So now this is actually a very important application that is used all, all around the world. Maybe some of you guys may realize you do this, others you don't. But it's basically positive punishment and positive and positive and negative punishment and reinforcement. And this is something we use in our day-to-day -day lives. So we're gonna kind of explain to you, give you some examples of what this means. So for me, for example, I had a long issue or problem with going to the gym. I always wanted to do that, but somehow going in there was very difficult. So I'm going to show you some things that I could have done or need to do in life in order to have that happen. So for positive reinforcement, you could add something valuable to your life or something in order for you to achieve that goal. So in this gym scenario, Let's say I went to the gym, I'd add something valuable. What I would do, I would reward myself with eating Chipotle once I was done. That way, every time I went, I could say, I'm gonna eat Chipotle, which then would eventually would motivate me to go. And another thing that you could do is removing something unpleasant. So, you know, I tell myself, okay, I'm gonna go to the gym this morning, or the next, last night, I'll be able, you know, to not do a chore I wanted to do that day, which made me want to go to the gym again. And I 
providing something unpleasant for positive punishment would be a, something I'd use in order to go. So if I didn't go to the gym that day, I tell myself, I'm, you know, I'm going to add an extra rep of something that way next time I could know that I should go. I'm not going to punish myself. That's something else. Another take into making yourself manipulating yourself to do that. And if I really didn't go, I would totally punish myself and say, yep, I'm not going to have coffee that day. I'm totally going to feel really, really bad, which the next day would um, make me want to go again. So punishing yourself in a positive, negative way, adding positive reinforcements in order to sort of motivate yourself to do what you want to do in life or in that goal. This could be applied for very simple subjects like that or something a lot more complicated. And um, I've also applied this or helped my friends do this in regards to studying or other things like that. So I think that's very relevant to all of us. And um, so just to wrap things up, um, what I've gone over is why this is a problem, why this is caused, how motivation is could be lacking, and some things or applications that you can use for whatever you want to choose in life in order to remain a little more motivated. And so just the last moment or last thing that I've note is to become a constructive thinker and just remember you know, to, to say that you can do things. So don't re rely on your limitations. And that's quoted by one of them, a very famous NFL player. And I quote, it's only a dream until you write it down and then it's a goal, end quote.